Welcome to the Rajasthan Royals Online Academy. We're going to talk about innovative batting in the death overs. What are the death overs? Different teams categorize death overs differently. But generally speaking, the last five overs of any T20 game, whether you're chasing or whether you're setting a target, would be categorized as the death overs. To succeed in the death overs, it does help if you have wickets in hand. The more wickets you have in hand, the more risks you can take. And batting at the death overs is all about high risk batting. It's a time in the game when you put risk to one side and you have a free license to be able to express yourself and to play your shots. With the key target being to maximize the scoring and to score as many runs as possible. Even though you have a free license to play your shots, there's a high level of skill required to be able to execute these high risk shot under pressure. At this stage in the game, there's a premium for boundary hitting and the ability to hit boundaries, either along the ground or over the top. At this stage in the game, the opposition captain will usually have five fielders outside the ring. So that means it's harder to hit the boundaries and to find the gaps. In the death overs, it's critical to have the ability to clear the field consistently under pressure. A lot of this comes down to having a very good bat swing. A lot of players who are successful, like the Dhonis and the Rainas, Yusuf Patans and Stuart Binnies in the death overs, are people who have big back lifts and even bigger follow throughs. Even though you're trying to hit the ball a long way, it's still critically important to have a still head and to stay balanced so that the power is going into the ball and into the shot and maximizes your ability to hit the ball big and to clear the field. It's also important at this stage in the game to be able to play the field and to be able to hit all around the wicket so that it becomes difficult for the opposition batsman to set a field for you. It's also important to be able to preempt at times what a bowler is trying to do. The bowler might have many variations and being able to pick what he might bowl at which stage in the game sometimes gives you that added advantage. There's a huge amount of risks involved with the kind of shots that you're going to play. But the freedom and the nice thing about it is that this stage in the game allows you to express yourself and to take a few risks because you're looking for high rewards and you have to have high risks to get those rewards. In the death overs, you generally find that captains rely on specific players and players with the ability to hit the ball big and hit the ball long. Failure is generally accepted at this stage in the game because of the nature of the cricket that you're trying to play or the nature of the shots that you're trying to play uh, because there is a high risk in some of these shots. Players need to be backed and captains need to back players and recognize that there will be a huge amount of failure uh, in trying to execute some of these high-risk shots. At RR, we generally don't have big targets or we don't set targets for our players. Uh, the players are free to decide in the middle as to what is a kind of acceptable target at that stage in the game, taking into consideration the opposition bowlers uh, and the nature of the wicket. Improvisation is critically important in this stage uh, of the game as well uh, because you have to be able to manipulate the field to maximize your run scoring ability. Sometimes in a T20 game, there's so many things uh, that are happening. There's uh, the pressure of runs, there's the pressure of a target. Uh, and it's important for players at this stage of the game to be able to clear their mind of, of all these distractions and just focus on the ball and focus on the skills required to be able to execute these shots. In this lecture, we're going to look at some of the demos of the skills required to be able to maximize your run scoring ability in the death overs and look at some of the innovative shots uh, that the players do employ uh, to be able to succeed.